Awesome, awesome. Let's get into this bonus training. Then. So everything we just taught you isn't going to work if you're in a really crappy mood all the time. It's not going to work. Lisa, how productive are you when you're like on the verge of tears? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like nothing gets done. <laughs> how productive are you when you're on the verge of like wanting to snap an eventual one out? Yeah, nothing's going to get done. How productive are you when you want to punch a wall? <laughs> Very not productive. So everything we just talked to goes out the window. It's completely useless if you don't optimize your state of mind. Okay. So I just recently invested $10,000 to optimize my state of mind. And I shall show you what I invested in after. Do you guys want to see what I invested in? 10,000, well, how would I spend $10,000 on to optimize my state of mind? Yeah. Yeah. You made, no, she's not 10 grand. I mean, she will be 10 grand over time, but I'll show you what I just dropped 10 grand on. It's like a product. I just bought like a thing for 10 grand. Just to optimize my state of mind. This is how much I take it seriously. This is not bullshit. Okay. So here, let's talk about how to optimize the state of mind. First thing. People talk about morning routines and all that. Okay, that's cool. But you got to have a disciplined evening routine. Meaning you've got to get to bed at the same time every night. You got to plan tomorrow today. If you don't do anything else besides this, you'll still get really good results. Just do this alone. You'll still get really good results. At least planning tomorrow today will, will start getting you massively far ahead. This is like the number one best tip and trick ever in the book of productivity. Have a disciplined evening routine. Have no lights on after 8 p.m. Have some candles lit if you want. Go to bed with a candle lit notebook and just take notes on what you're going to do doing tomorrow. Sound good? Got it? Got it. <laughs> got it? Got it? Okay. We all got it. Sweet. Candle lit notebook. That's that's the evening routine. Here we go. Next up, Lisa. Next up is your morning routine. So if you plan properly the night before, you can get up early. You go to bed early, you can get up early. And the early morning hours are so incredibly productive. Incredibly. And it's also time that you can take for yourself. So it's super important. You can meditate, you can go over your gratitude lists, your affirmation lists, your goals, visualize, you can read or listen to a podcast or something like really spend that time with yourself. And you can also, if you're getting up early, you can also spend that 30 minutes or hour on your business. It's definitely something very important, but you want to plan the night before. And if you don't, then it's not going to be as productive in the morning. So who in here is going to plan the night before and have a successful morning routine going on? Me. <laughs> I oh Janine already plans. That's perfect. Awesome, you guys. Well, cool. But if you have any questions about anything, post them in the Q&A. We'll get to them at the very end. Next up is you want to make sure you're adding in some meditation and some breath work into your daily routine. Ideally the same time every day, either in the evening or morning or even midday, whatever, but just get it in some way, shape or form. Okay. Even if it's just a minute, just doing breath work for a minute helps different types of breath work. My personal favorite is the breath hold, just holding it, big, exhaling everything and then inhaling everything and just holding that for as long as I can. And uh, just meditating, just sitting down and closing my eyes, setting a timer for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes on my phone, sitting in silence, boom. Best way to optimize the state of mind. Okay? You combine the two as well, it's amazing. Do some breath work first, then go into meditation, super easy. Walking in nature, doing those 10,000 steps a day, yeah. very important. Um, I, you can track your steps on your phone, you can get a tracker, anything like that to make sure that you get those in, move, get that blood going. Yeah, you can also, if you just walk for um, 100 minutes, that's 10,000 steps. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's about an hour and a half, I found. So 100 minutes is like 90 minutes plus 10 minutes. Exactly. <laughs> so there you go. Get those steps in, get out in nature, go for those uh, 100 minutes of, of walking. And then exercise intensely, even if it's just for five minutes. I, I recently, um, I mean, I used to always lift weights. I mean, for the past couple of years, lift weights, but I recently started adding in some actually intense cardio, five minutes on the rowing machine. Listen, did you ever do that test? I haven't yet. The gym closed. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> if you can't get to a gym because the gyms are closed, totally understand. Um, but at least do like five minutes of squats or burpees or like push ups or something like pretty hard that gets you kind of out of breath. Okay, or running up a hill. Go, go find a hill, run up, run up a hill. Just do a bunch of jump squats. They're great too. 
Okay, five minutes, exercise hard. This will make you a better entrepreneur. Everything we're saying right now makes you a better entrepreneur, helps you make more money. Positive input, okay? Because look at the alternative. Let's say it's not positive input. What's the opposite? Negative input. Listen to the news, see how you feel. Ooh, it's like so dirty. Like, let me take my, let me go shower. It's disgusting. I don't want that crap in my head. If you don't want it in your body, why do you want it in your head? That stuff's dirty. If you wouldn't, if, if you think something is really negative and you wouldn't put it on your body, why would you put it in your head? So the opposite, positive input, this is what's going to shape your brain. It's going to shape your perspective on life. So I used to go out every single morning when I got into audiobooks, I'd go out for an hour one way, an hour back, listen to the exact same audiobook every single time. I would leave the house one person, I'd come back another person. I came back a changed man every time. A changed man every time. <laughs> I left the house one person, I came back another. Audiobooks, baby. It's like setting up the bumper guards on a bowling alley, in the bowling alley, in the bowling lane. You can't mess up. You can't go in the gutter. Your mind can't go in the gutter. You listen to an audiobook. You get the bumper set. You're hitting the pins every time. Striking out, baby. <laughs> Striking out. Because audiobooks, like setting up the bumper guards in your brain so you only think about the good stuff. And when you think about good stuff, what happens? Take you get more good stuff. You get more good stuff. You get really good stuff. When you think of good stuff, you get good stuff. Exactly. So that's the audiobooks. This one. This one. I'll cover this one because I don't know if this is there yet. No phone on the toilet. Guys, this one has been such a game changer. Some of my best ideas have come from being on the toilet. Like a lot of my good ideas come from being on the toilet with no phone. When you're on the phone, when you're on the toilet with no phone, it's like this, you can meditate. It's like instant meditation because there's nothing to do besides let it flow. So when you're on the toilet and you're on your phone, you're like, you're just wasting this valuable opportunity to get like a really gold idea. So whether you're pooping or peeing, just don't be on your phone. Just stare at the wall, stare at your feet. Don't read anything. Don't shampoo else. bottles. <laughs> don't shampoo bottles. Just stare at the floor, stare at your feet, stare at the wall and just be, just learn how to be. Just mm -hmm. be. And you'll get like the best ideas. And again, ideas are going to help you make a lot of money. Sleep. Oh, sleep. So important important to go to bed at the same time every night and if you don't want to get up in the middle of the night um just don't drink a lot of water after six because mm -hmm. um, that will help a lot with that but going to bed early uh i like to go to bed around between 8 30 and 9 like uh, we have um an alarm on our phone that goes off at 8 15 and at 8 15 that's when we should be dropping everything and getting ready to go upstairs and head to bed to be in bed and getting ready to sleep, like planning our day for the next day or 8.45 ish or something. And then sleep by nine so that we can get up at 5 a.m. or even 4.40 because 4.40 is like the time that we like to get up at to kind of like, you know, stretch a little bit, get ready for our hour of power at five. But yeah, that's the ideal going to bed the same time every night, even on the weekends. So being an entrepreneur is very different than having a job in that when you have a job, it doesn't matter if you're in a good mood or bad mood, you're going to make the same amount of money. Being an entrepreneur, you really make a lot more money when you're in a good mood, when you're in a good state of mind. Because a good state of mind also is completely adjacent with more energy, right? Mm -hmm. So... If you have a nine to five, you don't have to worry about this. But as an entrepreneur, this needs to be like your number one priority, which is why I just dropped $10,000 on a product that helps me optimize my state of mind. I'll show you what that is in just a sec. But this is so important, guys. You can't miss this. If you miss this, everything we just said goes out the window. Selective input only, no default input. So similar to the audiobooks, but whether you're watching YouTube or you're on Instagram or you're on wherever, no default input. Do not allow the YouTube recommendations to come up. Download on Chrome right now, download this blocker called Hide YouTube Recommendations. You don't want any recommendations from YouTube when you're on YouTube. You just wanna be able to search the video you wanna watch, watch it, no distractions. So no default input. Same with no, um, same with no, uh, you know, news apps or anything on your phone, no notifications on your phone, turn off all notifications, that's number one. Turn off all notifications. Otherwise just default input. It's like, hey, bang, someone wants your attention, bang, someone wants your attention. Attention is um, it's, it's what's going to get you results. You need to be able to hone it in, okay? So lastly, a clean diet. Lissa? 
Mm -hmm. Definitely clean diet, make sure you're getting enough calories, make sure that you're eating properly, make sure you're eating often. Um, if you're feeling like your, your, your brain fog or whatever, just go grab some fruit, make a smoothie, have your salad, take a break, eat clean and eat hydrating raw foods predominantly. Um, if you can. <laughs> um, but yeah, your diet is so important. If you're eating foods that are going to drag you down or make you feel like lightheaded or foggy or tired or whatever, that's not going to help with your productivity, your sleep, your meditation, your discipline, all of that kind of stuff. So easiest way to stay broke as an entrepreneur is stay in a food coma. Mm. How much money is someone going to make when like this? <laughs> Versus like this. All right, this person's gonna crush it all day. This person, <laughs> rude. you're useless. You're, you're a bad entrepreneur if you're in a food coma. You wanna become a really good entrepreneur. This is how to do it, optimize that state, okay? So the thing that I bought for 10 grand, I'll show you right now, unplug, it's totally been worth it. And uh, I look forward to using it for many years to come. It I'm is, jealous that you have it. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, Oh, the light's off. Let me turn the light on. This is jealous. Oh, the truth is coming out. Oh, I, I really want to uh, try it, Ted. <laughs> okay, so here it is. We shut the lights off to get the, get the mood right. Here it is. Damn. Float tank. Float tank. So you come in here, you close the lid, and you are in bliss. It's pitch black. And then once you close the lid, lights shut off and you're in pitch black. You're floating in 800 pounds of salt. So you can't sink and you can't feel anything because the water is skin temperature. I had a couple of guys come over today to buy some off Craigslist. I asked them to stick their hand in there. They stuck their hand in there. They didn't feel their hand was in the water because it's, it's body temperature. So your body doesn't feel like it's touching water. It just feels like it's floating in midair and like you're in the galaxy. You're in between like Mars and Jupiter. It's incredible. So that's the float tank. Uh, if you want one, let me know. I'll send you a freaking affiliate link. <laughs> I actually have one. So anyways, that's the float tank. And I bought that just to optimize my state of mind because when I'm in there, I get the best ideas. And the rest of my day, I feel like I'm still floating. Like I still, you never forget the feeling of floating. Like if you've ever like, if we, humans could fly, which we can't, but if we could fly, we're pretty close to those bat suits. Um, <laughs> You'll, you'll never forget what that feels like. And floating is like, you never forget what that feels like. It's just an amazing, blissful feeling. So that's that. That's for the state optimization. As far as self-belief goes, last little part of the training here tonight, get clear on your doubts. What are your doubts? Get a, get a piece of paper, write this down. You gotta get clear on your doubts. Get clear on your doubts. What are you actually doubting? And then just remember, you, if you're just starting out, you're just starting out. Like you don't even know what's realistic or not, right? You're just starting out. In fact, um, there's a girl in here, Yelena. She just joined a few days ago. She's still here. She's just starting out. She didn't even know what was possible before she joined. Yelena. Hi. Hello, hello, welcome. Hi, I am so happy to be here. Oh, we're so happy to have you here. <laughs> Yeah, so you, you, you just joined. Uh, what was one of your biggest doubts before joining? And then how has that changed since you've been in the program for a few days now? So, yes, I just joined last week. And to be honest, like the webinar that I saw was so good that I didn't have any doubts. Um, <laughs> to be honest, it was just I, like I was so engaged. Um, and I mean, like, I kind of like, I, I've always known what I've wanted to do, like create a course and just help people like be healthier. But just in the last like five days that I've been putting in work, I am so much farther ahead than I've ever been. And just so much more clear and confident. I left my corporate office job three weeks ago. And I was like, and then a week later, I found Ted Carr's webinar. So it was just like it meant to happen. And I joined this course. Um, I, I'm talking to a friend who joined this other course and I'm just telling him how amazing this one is. And he's like kind of upset. <laughs> he invested in that course instead of this course. And yeah, it's just been amazing. Both Ted and Lisa, thank you. 
Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> so, I mean, Yelena doesn't sound like she had many um, doubts coming into it, um, but you, you're just starting out, right, Yelena? So, yeah, like, I guess, like, one doubt that I, I had is, like, am I really going to be able to make $10,000 in one month? Um, like as soon as it's possible, as you guys say, and I really don't have that doubt anymore. I, I really don't. Like I'm so ready. <laughs> okay. Yes, woo! Cool. We're ready with you. Y Yelena, we'll follow up in in a, in a 30 days time. We'll do another video and let people know where you're at. Yes, absolutely. I'm open to that. Cool. cool. Well, thanks for sharing, Yelena. Yeah, thanks for having me. Cool. So. Ask yourself as well, like, again, what are your doubts? I, I understand that you're just starting out. And then ask yourself, how is your life actually going to change when this works? Like when you're actually doing 10K a month, what's going to be different? Because you have to prepare for that. Mm -hmm. Once the money starts rolling in, I'll tell you something really interesting I've never shared before. It's the first time I've ever. Do you guys mind if I be really transparent for a sec and open up with you and share something I've never shared before? Do you guys mind if I have a little moment? When I, sharing it with <gasps> when I, my first month doing 18 grand was followed by the next month doing 20 grand was followed by the next month doing 25 grand. Up until that point, I had been making like between 1500 and five grand a month at the most. And I was just used to that spending a lot. I wasn't, had no savings. When I started doing 18 grand, 20 grand, 25 grand, I was a little bit more stressed out than I was before because I didn't know what to do with the money. I didn't have a plan for it. I had no plan for it. Nobody teaches you what to do with the money once you get it. They can teach you how to get it. Most people don't teach you how to get it. They're just like, oh, go get a job. But when you actually learn how to get it, they don't teach you what to do once you get it. So I actually started feeling a bit stressed. And I was like, fuck, what do I do? This money's just piling up. It's a waste. It's like, I'm not doing anything in the bank account with it. Um, I called my dad up and I, I asked him like, hey dad, like I know you're retired. I know you're on like pension. Do you need any money? Like, do you need to do anything? He's like, oh no, I appreciate it, Ted. Thanks, but I'm good. And I was like, I didn't know what to do with the money. I was like, I felt like well, it's like a stress. Like, holy crap. Like what do I do? And so it's a problem. It's a problem you'd like, Shan says, it's probably like to have. Yeah, but it's like, what do you do? So you got to plan it in advance. Don't let what happened, to, don't let what happened to me happen to you. Know, what's, know what you're going to do with that money before you get it. You want to have it, you want to, people say like, oh, you should have your money spent before you, before you get it. Yes, you should. I had that float tank spent. I bought that float tank before I was doing what I'm doing now. I bought my Tesla in my head before I was making the money I have now. Now that I have the money, I'm like, boom, Tesla, boom, float tank, no problem. Let's get it. Because I already know what the money's going for. It's, it's no stress. I'm like, it's already planned. So you don't have to get in that situation. Like, well, what do I do now? Just have it planned out, okay? So again, this is what you got to do. Write it down on a piece of paper. This helps also build self-belief. How's your life going to change? Now, who do you know online who's already done this? Who's already done it? Besides Lisa and myself, if there's anyone, write them down. If it's just Lisa and myself, write Lisa and Ted and Daniel <laughs> and, and Amy and <laughs> Sheila. And every other student in the academy, just write that, right? Who do you know? How much, and also though, get clear, how much time can you put in per day? This is where it gets really practical. How much time can you actually put in per day? Type in the chat right now how much time you could put in per day for this. I know Yelena right now, she just said she quit her job. She's putting in the time. I've seen her put in like five, six hour days or more probably. She put in like eight hour days. Deepak's got 15 hours, man. That's got 15 hours. How much time do you suggest I can do what is needed? The more time, the better. Ideally 24 hours. If you it's can, what you want to put into your business. Ideally 24 hours a day. <laughs> Go to bed dreaming about it. Like listen, I do, then you'll be very successful. So 24 hours a day is the ideally recommended daily dose. If you can't put in 24 hours, two to three hours is the minimum. Cool. Chloe's got the weekends. Nice. Five, six, you make up for the weekends. Though. That's plenty. Cool. Okay, great. So how much time can you put in per day? Now, do you have the energy during that time or are you exhausted? Yes or no? Do you have the energy to put in? during that time. This is where diet comes in. Hydration, sleep, the meditation, right? All of this is gonna give you the energy that you oh. need to do this. And the passion, doing what you're loving every day is important too, right? So, okay, so you can put in the time, you have the energy, but can you focus for that time? Can you actually focus? Can you actually have a sustained focus and work on the same thing over and over and over and over and over again? Or do you have to run around like a freaking chimpanzee and just and just running around all crazy. <laughs> do you have the Do you have the focus of a chimpanzee, or do you have the focus of a Zen master meditator? 
a Zen master meditator unicorn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if, that time, if it's something I love, yes. Okay. So imagine what's going to happen now when you put all your time, all your energy and all your focus into this and you get help along the way. This is how we do not see how it's possible for you to fail. You're putting in the time, you're putting in the focus, bringing the energy, and you have our help to keep you on track, like the bumpers in the bowling alley, right? You're not getting in the gutter. If you do get in the gutter, you're going to bounce right back up, okay? This is why we don't see how it's possible for you to fail. So that's it for tonight. That's all we have for you. Thank you so much. We're going to get some quick Q&A here, and uh, thank you all so much for attending this call. This was super, super fun. Let's get to the Q&A. Boom. All right. Um, I would love to know how many hours a week you work so I can put the income in context. Um, well, it's not, we don't trade hours for time, do we, Lissa? No. Um, um, we're putting in 24 hours a day, honestly. Yeah. And it's like, we're thinking about it. We're, you know, I, I put in five minutes on a post here and then I'm on a call with someone there. I'm doing stuff with you, Ted. We're in the work tank together. It really is. It does feel like it's 24 hours, but it's all in the focus. It's what you want to put into it. I, and wouldn't you want to put it. I don't want to do anything else. Like, don't take me away from my work. This is all I want to do. When, when I go traveling and the, and the guy at the board is like, is this business or pleasure? And I'm like, well, my business is pleasure. <laughs> like, I don't want to do anything but this. This is so fun. So I'm working 24 hours a day to answer your question. I like every waking hour I'm putting into this. Do I need to? No. I could realistically continue what I'm doing now, maintain everything, maintain the income, everything on like three hours a day. Mm -hmm. Is this recording going to be available later? Yes. Are you reposting the same piece of content multiple times a day or five to six different posts? Five to six different posts. Mm -hmm. What platform do you use to create and sell eBooks slash e-courses? Um, Lissa uses, what do you use Lissa for your eBook? Um, I use InDesign, but you can also use Canva. Um, so there's there's options out there on how to make your eBooks. And we use uh, ClickFunnels for the funnels. Yep. Yeah, that's what we do the freebie page, ClickFunnels. And eCourses, uh, ClickFunnels as well. Mm -hmm. Anonymous, do you have any success stories you can share? Yeah, we've shared a few of them. It's a lot more in the Academy as well. Uh, when you say one-on-one, -on -one, do you literally mean the three of us brainstorming uh, yeah, so a lot of times we'll come on the call, there's only three of us there, and it'll just be the three of us brainstorming. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's four, sometimes there's five, sometimes there's six people, and then three leave, and it's down to three of us again. So yeah, it's actually just us. Uh, why, why would you guys share all these secrets to teach us exactly what you do? Aren't you worried to be successful in your lane? Aren't you worried we'll be successful in your lane? I love that question. <laughs> <laughs> I want to answer that later, too. That's a really powerful question. Mm -hmm. I'm going to screenshot that. I like that question. Why would you guys share all this? Because it's in, it's in sharing that you master it. So the more we teach this, the better we get. Another reason why I feel like we love to share all of the details and everything is because we have a broader message. Everybody here, we're eating plant-based or we're vegan and we want to help other people. And Ted and I can only help so many people in within our, you know, realm of, influence, so to speak. But all of you guys have your own sphere of influence, right? We can't necessarily affect those people and the people that resonate with you and that want to learn from you, we want to help you to help them. So the more people that we can help, the more people you can help. So it's kind of like, it's a bigger picture here. We're trying to help to get the message of health and wellness and self-improvement and everything out there so we want to help you help people listen you should have answered that i should know <laughs> yeah exactly so our goal is to like our we we, we just want to make sure that like anyone who joins the academy is also helping other people which is why on the call we do not take anyone we do not take people who are into hunting and fishing and paleo and keto and or keto if you're vegan that's fine but like anything that's like not vegan or plant-based related we if you're not vegan or plant-based and you're out there trying to help people like eat more milk and eggs and stuff, it's like, we can't have you in the academy. Just can't. So we want our students to go and help other people become vegan and be successful, not just with food, but like anything, anything, um, anything health and fitness related, anything income related, anything like positive vibes related. Like Amy just sold 
20 of her spots to all vegan Instagram influencers, you know, she niched down. Really, really cool. Um, do we have to make a course? What if we just want to do eBooks? You can do eBooks. Mm -hmm. You can do eBooks. Most students find it's much more profitable, much faster to do courses. But if you have uh, the desire just to do eBooks, let's I can show you how just to do eBooks. Uh, is the Course Creator Academy a program and how long does it take? So it's a premium coaching program. So it's a mix between videos and us on live camera like we are right now. It's like the hybrid. And how long does it take? Any, as long as it takes, as long many hours you're putting in. Um, it depends how far you want to take it. There's no end point of like, okay, now you've graduated from entrepreneurship. Now you're a real entrepreneur. It's never ending. It's, you, it's how long does it take? Well, how long do you live? Like if you live for 80 years, it's going to take 80 years. Uh, but you'll have 12 months in access if you sign up during this webinar. Otherwise, it's six months access. What if you don't have a product to sell? That's why you join. That's the purpose for joining. Like, uh, I'd say 95% of the students don't have a product when they, I'd say almost 99% of the students have, don't have a product when they join. Lisa, who had a product when they joined? Maybe Rick and Karen? Yeah, they had a product. Um, Anyone else? Karen Ramsey. Yep, Karen. She had one. Um, no, most people don't. They don't, they, that's why they join. Hmm. Um, social media space is crowded with content creators and everything is creating webinars and funnels these days, even with a niche. What are the odds of sustaining this business over the longer run? What are the odds? Well, when something's working, you have to keep doing it. And we have no signs of slowing down. If anything, we're going up. So if, 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 we, if, the, if, we're, if sales are going like this, Deepak, we'd be like, hey, we got to do something else now. But sales are going like this, right? And with more people coming online every day, there's always going to be more consumers than producers. Fact. There will always be more uh, consumers than producers. So as long as you're a producer, you're in good hands. All the consumers, they have to go get jobs at nine to fives. But if you want to be the top producer, be a top producer and you'll never run out of consumers to sell to. It's just, it's just how the, the, the statistics work, right? Um, there's always going to be more producers. Or sorry, always going to be more consumers. Mm -hmm. And again, if sales were going like this, we would jump ship and do something else that was going like this. But this has been going like this for a while now. And it's just getting better. And we're not even scratching the surface. Lisa and I, like, we're we're just we're just beginning. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about branding. Yes. How to pick your Instagram name? Yes. Big time. By charging thousands of dollars for what is available freely, aren't we driving the economy to the edge and making things in life more difficult for everyone? Good question. You're not charging thousands of dollars for something that's available freely. Is your time, Deepak, available freely? No, you only have 24 hours in a day. By charging thousands of dollars, you're giving access people to that finite resource, your time, which you can do in group calls like we're doing now, but it's not a freely available resource. The information is free. If you want all the information that we just gave you, well, you just got it for free. But if you want our help implementing it and customize for you, that costs thousands of dollars. Same goes for you. You can teach health and you can teach meditation. You can teach well-being for free. But if people want your help implementing it, then they'll pay thousands of dollars. I'm asking these questions because I've not been able to move ahead with this model because of these doubts. Totally understand, dude. That was tripping me up too. And I appreciate you sharing this. Oh, that was a big one that was tripping me up as well. Uh, who is the call with, Ted, Lissa, or someone else? Um, it's either with uh, myself, Lissa, Nate, or Katie, who's ever available. Lissa and I aren't as available, so there's fewer slots. But if necessary, um, Lissa and I will work some overtime and take some of the calls. But generally, they're with um, either Katie, Nate, or myself. Mm -hmm. But uh, it doesn't really matter who the call's with because we're going to be going over the same same stuff. It's a pretty structured call. We don't just get on the call and shoot the shit. We get on the call and ask you a series of questions, make sure you're the right fit. And uh, we all know the same answers to all the same questions anyway. So it's like when you ask Lisa, Lisa, what's one plus one? You need the same answer from her as you're going to get from me. <laughs> and everyone on the calls is very well trained. Uh, so that's it. We've answered all the questions. Thank you so much. This was an amazing evening. I hope yeah. you had a lot of fun. I actually have to go right now. I already see a call coming in right now. Someone's already booked for right now. So I got to run. Oh, 
Ted. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Book a call if you haven't um, yet. It's bit.ly slash CCA call. And you can book a call to chat with one of us. Cool. Issa said she had a call with Nate and absolutely are the right fit. Amazing. Super, super cool. Um, Issa, I hope to see you in the Academy very soon. Thanks so much, everyone. This is great. Peace out. Much love. Adios. Oh, I don't want to leave. This is painful. No, I don't want to leave either. Oh, I love you guys. Hope to see you in the calls. Someone just, someone just pull the plug. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, it's so hard. Okay, ready? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Put your key takeaways. What was the number oh, one thing you learned? Yeah. What was the number one thing you learned? Post your key takeaways. Give me that at least. I'll go to bed at night knowing that you got a key takeaway from this. What was your key takeaway? Number one key takeaway. Share with us in the chat. What was like your biggest aha moment? The thing that stood out the most? Ooh, how to make your posts valuable. Love that. It that is it is possible. possible. Not selling information. We're selling, helping them implement it. Yeah, nice, exactly. You're helping them implement it. Give the information away for free, help them implement. I got hope that I desired most. Nice, okay. I can do it. Don't let the doubts keep you from success. Wow, you guys are great. Okay, so we're out of here. If you uh, have any questions for me, just send us, book a call, book a call. We'll discuss everything on the call. Sound good? Okay, sounds good. Peace out, y'all. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Adios. Bye. Good work, Lisa. Fruit on. <laughs> Fruit on. Yeah. <laughs>